Okay, I am so hoping this one works. I have made this tutorial about a dozen times today. Uh, this just, the lesson to be learned here is never make a few minor changes to a program unless you want that program never to work okay again. Okay. Uh, last night I went to DeviantArt and I downloaded an ACV file, a curves preset, and I installed it in the curves folder, okay, just like it's supposed to be, and you're right, at least in my Photoshop Elements 9, it's not showing up. Uh, what you're going to have to do if you want to use this is to use the regular Photoshop curves, and that's not really uh, hard. Let me explain a little bit about Elements first. Elements is a build of Photoshop, which means it's actually Photoshop with a new interface on it that doesn't allow us to access all of the Photoshop functions that are in the program. And there are a few manufacturers, one of them is called SimplePhotoshop.com, that have made little programs, they're free, um, at least the demo versions of them are, They've made little programs that allow us to access some of the Photoshop functions that are inside Photoshop Elements. Okay, and the program I'm going to recommend a little one. It's actually not a program. It's actions that get into Elements. Uh, I've used it in version 2, version 4, version 6, version 8, and version 9. So uh, I know about it. It's not like something I just Googled and found last night. So how do you get there? I've just called up Yahoo in the search box or any Google, whatever search engine you use. Just type Elements Plus, P-L-U-S, okay, Elements Plus. And you will get, this one comes up at ElementsPlus.net. If you use Google, the URL might be Simple Photoshop. I think it's .com. It gets you to the same place. And you'll get a page that looks like this. Now there is a commercial version of the little demo package, free one we're going to download. It's $12, but this, this lets you know some of the Photoshop functions that are actually inside Elements. Look at the whole list of them here. Okay, managing styles, etc. There's just smart filters, paths that you can create, text. This is really useful if you're used to, look at all the new ones, all the hide the cropped area, landscapes, local contrast, multi-exports. So for some of the newer versions of Elements, okay, they've included some new things. And the whole package, at least it used to be $12. Even if it's $15 now, it's still one of the cheapest uh plugins that you can buy for elements of those plugins you can buy. I have a couple of plugins from Topaz Labs, Photoshop uh, Adjust, Topaz Adjust, which costs $40. And it's also a really nice plugin, but I always wait till they're on sale to buy them. What I'm going to recommend to you is the free little demo package. Uh, it's right here in the fourth paragraph where it says demo version. It's free. There's no limits. It doesn't have watermarks. There are no nag screens. Nothing will pop up and beg you to buy the bigger one. Uh, it's just a wonderful little set of actions that fit right into elements and are very useful. If you click on it, you'll have all the versions of photo of elements from version 1 to version 11 for Windows and version all the Mac versions on this side. You want to go up here to PSC version 8 for Windows. Click and download it. It downloads as an executable file. You just double click on it. A wizard will pop up and help you install that into your version of Elements. Now once you get it into Elements, what does it look like and how do you use it? I have Elements 9. I don't have Elements 8 uh, installed on this Windows 7 computer. I open my little sunflower. I've used this little sunflower for years. Whenever I want to test a new technique or use a new plugin or see what's what, this is my little experimental sunflower. Over here in the layers palette, it's the background layer with a lock on it. Uh, the lock means that you know, the background layer is sometimes hard to work on. I prefer not to. Right click and select layer from background. Give it a name on the pop-up or not. 
click OK and it becomes an unlocked regular layer or let me undo this. What I normally do just because I've been doing it for years is I drag the background layer down to the new layer icon and you can't hold it there it doesn't work and then I drag the locked background layer to the trash can to close it. However way you choose to change this background layer into an unlocked regular layer it's better to work on it as an unlocked layer. Now where do we find this new set of actions? Up here in the effects panel I've got it open now to the second icon which is layer styles. You want to click on the third icon photo effects where you find all your actions. Elements plus is the top of the line here. Click on it you get this icon with an E and a plus. Okay what do you do with that? Double click on it to open the demo and I always click on the show all commands that are in there. Now depending upon your version of Photoshop yours may look a little different than mine. This is for version 9. Depending upon what each version of Elements comes with itself some of these may change. My version my version of Elements Plus for Ele uh, Photoshop Elements 6 has layer masks because 6 and 7 don't have layer masks and it comes with um, tweaking selections okay altering so the shapes and whatever selections because over here if you'll notice in the well the select menu if I opened it transforming selections is part of elements I think since version 8 so it doesn't have to have transforming selections anymore. But it has some other kinds of fun things that are nice. But primarily the two useful ones are curves and the channel mixer. Right now we're going to look at curves. This is the regular Photoshop shop curves dialog. It doesn't look at all like the curves that you see in Photoshop elements up in the enhance menu over here. But it can do a lot of stuff and it can save presets which is just so nice because you may use the curves and I'll explain the different icons and what they do in a minute. But you can use the curves and uh, so you, you'll get your photograph looking really nice and you'll wish you could use that those same um, that's that same set of curves on other photographs but there's no way to save them in elements well you can save them in this one now one the curve icon the pencil icon the hand icon are what you can use to change your picture and I'm gonna pull this well, I guess it's not going to pull out of there right now because I've already got this open. Okay, on the curves one, let's show how this works. Number one, your presets. Uh, last night I ordered, I ordered, I downloaded a folder and it had all these different ACP files in it, these curves presets. And so I just, ex you know, put them all in, okay. It also has the same presets in it, increased contrast, mid light and shadows, etc. Solarize, it has the same presets that you find in elements because it's looking in that curves folder. Now let's see here. Whoops. Now let's pick one. Let's pick Verity. Okay once you select a preset you get your blue, green, and um, red etc. lines on here and they'll be little boxes and you can move this little box up to make it lighter you can move it down to make it darker and that's no fun so put your little it looks like a plus sign I don't know if it's recording as a plus put in a little another little box on there notice the box that's active is solid color black the box that's not active is just an outline of a box now when you move your new one Notice how the old one stays. Whoa, the old one stays stationary, and you can move. I want this lighter. There we go. And you can. Whoa, oh, I like that actually. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's nice. Good. I think I'll save that one right now to show you how to save. I really like that preset. I like bright colors. So let's say, oh man, I want to save that and use it on something else. Come up here, right next to the drop-down 
arrow for presets is this little tiny icon you can hardly see it looks like you know it could be something on your screen put your cursor over it it's the preset options click on it save the preset let me see what should i name this one mm -mm -mm. pink wonder okay come down here to the bottom pink wonder it's saving as an acv file it's saving up in your curves folder and there it goes and it's saved so I can use it over and over again notice how the name went up here if I look in the list pink wonder isn't in there yet the next time I when you open Photoshop elements it automatically the program goes through the folders and looks for new things so when I open it again the program again and I open the curves I will see my pink wonder in there Okay, now you know how to save your presets. That's really nice, actually. Okay, we want to reset this, and we want to try out the pencil. The pencil is really fun. Notice over here there's no reset button. Here's a little trick that works in just about every dialog in Photoshop Elements and in Photoshop. So watch the cancel button. I'm going to press the Alt key on my keyboard. It turns into reset. Cancel, reset. Okay, so if you're ever in a dialogue and you don't want to really close it, but you just want to go back to the beginning and start again, hold down the Alt key, the Cancel button turns into Reset. Now, let's use our little pencil. I'm just going to use the default up here. And you just draw. Ooh, that's nice too. You notice how I don't really know what I'm doing? There is a lot of, like, physics. Ooh, I like that. It looks like Mexican and Central American folk art. I love those folk. I love folk art. Um, there's a lot of the physics of light involved in curves that I am just not familiar with. I want to darken it up here a little bit. There we go. There. Ooh. Oops. Well, that's not fun. Okay. So you just kind of draw wherever you draw, and it adds. Uh, after you've played with it for a while, you'll, you'll get an idea based on this. Dark over here in this corner, light as you move away. So this is light, and this is dark. This is reds, and this is not reds, <laughs> okay? So you, you'll get an idea of where you draw and what it does. And you can draw a whole freaky kind of thing here. Ooh, that's weird, too. Okay, that's the pencil. Hold down the Alt key, reset. One more thing, and that's the hand. And sample an image to set the black point. That's, you know, if you want to set the dark point and you want to set the light point, well, I click on something that's gray. There we go. Okay. Now, let's use the hand. The hand you don't mess in here with you actually come over here and you notice how that when you move the hand when you move the eyedropper look over on my graph there's a big square that goes up and down up and down okay that's a dark color that's a light color that's a light area that's a dark area dark is toward the lower left corner light is toward the upper right corner so I want to change this middle value somewhat so I can go up, I can go down, I can go over. And once again, you can put another, come over here and just click. That's what I did. And I can start making, you know, darker. And let's move this one over here. I want it to lighten up. There we go. Things like that. And you just play with the hand. Now there are some options. I can't tell you exactly what they mean. Monochromatic, the contrast, just has to do with how you set it up. Uh, target colors, it's got shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can change these to red or purple or, you know, whatever you want to do. When you change it, okay, you get a background that's slightly different. Let's see what the pencil does with this. Okay, I guess that, whoa, that's neat. I'm sorry, but, <laughs> okay. Wish I could undo that one. If you can undo it, now I can't do it. It's program undo. Okay, you can smooth it. 
Okay, you can auto contrast it. Yeah, it's boring. Okay, so anyway, that's what this does. And it's just really neat. I mean, I just like what it can do. I love the fact that it can save your presets. So you don't you don't have to think, oh, I can do that to a photo once and then never again. Um, let's see, is there anything else I need to explain on here? Oops, you don't want to see that. Uh, oh, you can move the black points. Let's go back here to this guy. These little triangles, you can move them to lighten and brighten it up. Notice how the little um, the little boxes you have here, the stops actually hold it up from moving. So if I move that down, I can move this farther. But it's just a matter of you getting in here. But the neat thing is you can add all kinds of presets. You can just click on the preset. And then you can, let me see, warm. And then you can uh, alter them all kinds of different ways here. Okay, I hope that helps. If you have any further questions, um, just click on my avatar and email me. Or uh, you can, you know, reply to the messages again that we've sent back and forth.